I just built the monetizable TikToks AI machine last week, and now I am improving it to also show how to autonomously add voiceovers and subtitles to your videos, which is also as per request of a lot of the members here in our Robo Nuggets community. Because if you haven't seen them, faceless AI content are actually blowing up on TikTok right now just by vibe posting content like this that are all AI generated. And if you're an agency owner, you may be interested in this too, because there are some content businesses out there who are interested in this tech because they're starting to realize that they can remix their existing content and turn them into entirely new channels that is broadening their reach. So if you create a channel that actually entertains people, whether it's AI or not, then you'll be able to create a brand and a following that has never really been possible before without AI. So what you can do is to invest some time to create AI workflows like this, which you can just set up once. You can give it any topic in your niche. For this example, we'll be doing a video around animal trivia. And if you run that workflow to test it, it will actually create an idea for you. It will generate the prompts that will be fed to these image and video generation models. And now with this enhanced automation, it will also generate a script and a voiceover for your video and also add subtitles automatically. And it produces videos like this one on autopilot. The octopus can taste with its arms. Each sucker has sensors that detect chemicals. Blood pulses through its veins in a shocking shade of blue. Octopuses can flatten and squeeze through spaces barely bigger than their eye. And these videos can be created automatically every day or even every hour if you want to. And you can also auto-publish it to the social media channel of your choice, TikTok included. Setting up this workflow is also all no-code, so it is accessible for you even if you've never coded in your life before. And it's a good time to learn, especially since AI automation, if you just search it on Google Trends, you'll see the spike in the demand for it in recent months because of the presence of these no-code tools plus the AI models that are just getting better and better. So watch till the end because this is definitely an important skill that you need to learn if you want to master AI. So in the previous video, we made this monetizable TikToks AI machine, which if you look at that workflow, what that basically does, it generates prompts from that idea, creates multiple images, animates all of those images into videos, and puts them all together to create a video that is more than a minute long, which is a qualifier if you want TikTok to monetize your content. So by itself, that already works. But obviously, if your niche or your client wants to add voiceovers and subtitles to your video, then you will need to add new nodes in order to supplement that existing workflow. So what I basically did here is to extend that workflow so that I can show you how to generate a script for it, how to generate a voiceover using that script, add that voice to your current video, and even generate subtitles that will be layered on top of your final clip. So if you want to first learn how to set up the initial workflow for this, I suggest taking this course first because that goes through step by step how to set it up from scratch. But once you're done with that, what you can basically do is to extend that so that you again use an OpenAI node where if we open that up, you will basically see that this is just a message, a model operation. And if you open this, we just have some guidance here for a system prompt for ChatGPT to give us a script specifically for this example. So if you're not working with Animal Trivia, what you can just do is to copy paste this into ChatGPT and ask it to amend your system prompt. But you can see here, there are basically a couple of rules around the formatting. And here is where we pass on the idea. So for this specific run that I did, the video will be focusing around trivia for this animal in particular. So if you look at the output, basically what that provided us is a really good script that we can actually pass along to Eleven Labs, which is the service that we'll be calling on to generate the voiceover. But if you look at the succeeding node here, what we actually did is to post a request to Eleven Labs still, but through this service called file.ai. And just to recap, file.ai is basically a service that lets you access several other AI models. If you just look at their model gallery here, you'll see they have something like 200 plus models in here, which you can easily tap into, which is why file is so powerful because they update consistently around newer models as they arrive. And the reason why I'm showing using 11 labs through file AI in this case is that it's actually cheaper versus using 11 labs itself. So if you go to file AI's model page for 11 labs' text-to-speech model, you'll see that it costs 10 cents for 1,000 characters, which is actually much cheaper versus 11 labs itself. So if you look at their creator plan, it's actually $22 after the first month, and that gives you 100,000 characters. So if you just do the math, that will actually be $0.22 per 1,000 characters, which is much more expensive. And the other benefit is this is actually credit-based, so you don't even need to pay a big upfront cost in order to make use of this model that Fall AI is already hosting for you. So if we go back to our workflow, you'll see that we are using 
file AI to connect to 11 Labs' text-to-speech model. And here in the request itself, it is just a very simple format. We're using a specific voice here, which you can replace using the default voices of 11 Labs and a few other attributes that you can just play around with. But you'll see when you post that request, it will be sent to file AI. We have a wait node here because that takes some time before 11 Labs can produce the voice for you. And finally, once that's done, we will have to get that specific voice and have the URL of that audio file loaded into N8N. So if you just copy this and paste it into any tab, you'll be able to preview it like so. The octopus can taste with its arms. Each sucker has sensors that detect chemicals. So that's sounding pretty good. So if you just check the cost of that 11 Labs generation in file AI, you'll see that it costed less than 4 cents, which is very economical. So now that you have the audio file and also the video file from the previous steps, what you just need to do is to overlay that voice into that audio so that you can get the video with a voiceover added. And so in the next node here, it's basically another HTTP request, again to file AI, and again using the FFmpeg service, which would put those two files together, the video and the audio. So the only difference here is that in the body, what we are sending is exactly that. We have a dynamic value here that is coming from the get final video node, which is dynamically being replaced to this MP4 file that came from a previous node with file AI. And then we have this audio, which is the voice over MP3 file that we just generated now. So when you run that node, that will once again send a request to file AI. We again have a wait node here because FFmpeg takes a while for it to stitch the video and audio together. And finally, we'll get the output of that request to a get node, which is outputting with this video URL that again, you can just copy, paste into any tab, and that would download an MP4 file for you, which once again, you can preview the video, but this time with a voice over MP3 file overlaid on top of it. Blood pulses through its veins in a shocking shade of blue. Look at that eye, it's so realistic. So now that video is actually already pretty good. But if you want to take it a step further, you can also actually use File AI now to add subtitles to that video. What it will do essentially is it will analyze the audio for you, transcribe it, and also match what's being said in the video with the text so that it's properly timed. So for you to do that, you can just do another HTTP request. So this one called Create Subtitles. It again uses File AI specifically their auto caption service. And if we scroll down to what we are posting as a request, this is essentially file AI's syntax that we need to adhere to. We're passing along the video URL of that video we just previewed along with the voiceover. We are defining what's the text color, what's the text font, which you can actually customize the size of it, as well as some alignment values. And the refresh interval, pretty useful. This is basically saying that each line of text will appear for one second before it goes into the next line. So if you run this node, that will once again pass along the request to file AI. We again have a wait node to allow for processing from their side. And then once that's done, we get the final video with subtitles through the same process here, and it will output for you this video URL, which again, you can just copy and paste into any tab in Chrome or any browser. And now you have this file, which you again can preview. And now you have the subtitles here along with the voiceover into a sandy seafloor in under a second. And perhaps the eeriest twist, lose an arm in battle. And if you look at how much that costed, basically I've run the auto captioning eight times and each one only costed 10 cents. So from my experience, this is one of the most inexpensive ways for you to do this. And so now that you have this MP4 file, you can just proceed with logging the URL of that to this Google Sheet. Same with the original tutorial and it will put that URL into your Google Sheet template, which now from that Google Sheet, what you can do is set up this publishing agent so that you can auto post it to any social media channel of your choice. So this tutorial will go through that if you haven't seen it yet. So there, that is basically one way to add a voiceover as well as subtitles to your videos and is also one of the cheapest ways to do so. Obviously there are some drawbacks because this technology is still in its early phases, I would say and also because it's one of the cheapest ways to do it. So for example, I disabled these sound prompts nodes for this run because I was finding that with file AI's FFmpeg tool, it actually can't mix two audio files together. So it was having trouble mixing the sounds with the voiceovers, so it can't really do that yet. 
But the good news is there are tools that allow you to do this and have a bit more flexibility if you're willing to pay for that service. One of them, which I showed in this lesson, is JSON to Video, which we also have a discount code for if you're part of the RoboNuggets community. And that is sort of a simple way that adds a lot more flexibility in your workflows. Or if you have a bit more technical background, you can also check out the NCA Toolkit by Stephen Pope, which does the same thing, but it's open source, although you do need to be self-hosted and know how to deploy services in your local environment. But if you're just starting out and want to explore an option that keeps costs as low as possible while also making it a bit easier, then you can check out this template. I will publish it. It's a blueprint which you can just import into N8N along with a step-by-step -step here on how to set it up for your own space. And I will be sharing it in our community, which you can find if you're already a part of the group. If not yet, then you can check that out just in the link in the video description, because here we actually have tons of other lessons around AI and automation. And the great thing is, even if you're not planning to go into faceless AI content yourself, there's actually enough demand for it that some clients are asking to directly rebuild the Robo Nuggets lessons that we are publishing because it's something that they want for their own business as well. So since our agency can accommodate all of them, usually I post a lot of the paid opportunities here as well, along with other partnership collabs coming from different members of the group. So if that's a network that you want to get access to, then check out the RoboNuggets community just in the link in the video description. We also have several events here in our calendar. And to make it as accessible as possible to the most active members in the group, we actually do these bite-sized build sessions where if you host a session where you share something you learn, either 30 minutes to an hour, you actually get a free month of membership. So that's just a way for us to give back to the members who are contributing the most. So if that's something that you're interested in and also build your credential plus train yourself with presentation as a skill that you want to level up, then just an FYI that we also do these things. So check it out. It's just a link in the video description if you're not yet part of it. That's it for this one. See you guys next time. Thank you.